There is an online platform with the uh, EDA Playground. So if you go to EDA Playground, then uh, one minute. So if you go to EDA Playground, you see here uh, these are the things uh, you have here uh, test bench here, test bench plus design. So system very log or very log VHDL, Pacman E plus system very log or flash very log. So Python, likewise, there are these are the uh, these are the various languages that you have. So these are the various languages that you have. You are working with the sub and uh, there is the UVM. So this is uh, we we uh, earlier uh, presented about uh, verification. So uh, that this is the uh, verification methodology you can select here. And uh, here you have this. Uh, let me verify the simulator. Uh -huh. These tools and simulators. So you have here a uh, few things like uh, this. Uh, uh, you see here uh, compilers, uh, free simulators, GHDL, Icarus, Verilog, and the versions are there. GPL, uh, some some C, P, E, R, some version. So some compilers, some synthesis tools here. Uh, you see mentor uh, precision uh, yos is uh, some uh, some uh, this is open source this uh, yos is uh, 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 yos is is open source uh, uh, this vtr i don't have knowledge mentor precision you know that mentor graphics tool and then we have this uh, commercial simulators aldec this is uh, one company their uh, their uh, tool is uh, uh, rivera pro cadence Incentive Mentor uh, Graphics Cresta, Cresta, the simulator name, Synopsis uh, Company, it's a, it's a VCS is the tool name. The way the Mentor is the company's tool is a Cresta. So, likewise, uh, there are a uh, few. So, here in this area, this design area, this area where I am powering my mouse, there you write your code and uh, you put your, uh, your test bench here. And uh, you describe uh, whether it wants to keep uh, private to you only or want to share with public anyone. So <laughs> such settings are there here. And uh, whatever the project that you are doing, you can type here. So that uh, that name, project name. So uh, such such uh, interface is the provided here. What we, what we have to do is we have to first register here. There you go to the login. Just login. There you see login with the Google, login with the Facebook. There are two provisions. And the other is want full access to EA Playground. We have to register here, register for full account. The difference here is if you go to this one here, uh, back here, the commercial tools uh, I have shown here were under this tools and simulator. These are the commercial uh, tools here. If you select the simulator, commercial simulator software, all day, cadence, mentor, synopsis, their commercial uh, simulator software. If you want to use these commercial simulators, then we have to register with the, our uh, uh, something like, uh, suppose, say, uh, you have some uh, uh, company. So your company is ABC company, ABC. So your name, uh, your name, uh, at your ABC company dot com or dot AC dot in. Likewise, if it's there, with that you have to register here. Uh, where here is register for full access. In that case, commercial tools also we can use. So if you don't have such uh, this, uh, you know, uh, private domain name, public domain such as Gmail, Yahoo, or Redis Mail, or any other, uh, those are public domains. So public domain, you can log in this this login you see here login. With this login, you can simply uh, click there and uh, go to your uh, mail ID and uh, some uh, permissions. If it is asking, then you have to simply click yes like that. You can uh, uh, enter into this. You are now logged in here. You see here your profile here. So you have some profile here. Your, and uh, if you have published playgrounds, you can go publish playgrounds. You see, if you have worked earlier any anything, you will see them listed here. So 
likewise the interfaces and uh, uh, this your playground if you go then if you the same earlier if there are any that you have worked uh, you possibly you see here no matching playgrounds you have no saved waveforms here if i have saved any uh, earlier i worked here and if i have saved any i can locate them here so now let us go to this one uh, uh, this uh, home page this uh, this area if you have uh, i will just let me uh, type this uh, what is that module satish can you see this uh, module what i am typing yes sir yes sir okay okay uh, so i am just typing here module that is uh, full adder a comma uh, b comma c and then uh, let me uh, demonstrate full insert full adder first uh, half adder uh, that is half adder i have this uh, something a comma uh, b comma sum comma c o and then you put a semicolon and then you put a, your data uh, that is the type declaration port type declaration uh, and then output uh, sum comma c o and then your choice of uh, uh, abstract here this assign the moment i use I am using the data flow level model. By this time, everyone must be aware that there are several uh, abstraction, uh, abstract levels. Uh, uh, we can describe our very like uh, description, module description, hardware description. So this is n module. So I have done with uh, my description here with this. So now what I do here is I I have done with my description here. This is. Uh, uh design file this is a design file i had to come here for my test bench so for that i just write here uh, something like a backboard time scale and uh, one ns slash one ps by this time you must be familiar what is backboard what is time scale what is one nanosecond what is one picosecond all that stuff because already we uh, demonstrated uh, earlier session in earlier uh, classes module test and then this you know uh, by this time you must be familiar here this will become red here uh, input that is a comma b semicolon and then y and then your sum comma c o and then you have to instantiate this your uh, module this module where i am hovering my mouse here so the selected one here this one so that you instantiate here i simply copy this one here uh, copy and get this one here paste but as you know this uh, uh, user defined module should have instantiation name so i am putting instantiation name h1 that is of your choice it can be anything so now i just go to initial and then i have i know that uh, i have multiple i am going to have multiple uh, statements so i am going to uh, put a begin if there is only one statement begin is not required since i know that i am going to end up with the multiple statements i am going to put a begin here and thereafter i put a here something called dollar uh, dump uh, file is the system you know uh, when dollar comes uh, what it is you must be knowing so it's a system we have dollar uh, with dollar two two things are there one is the system function the other is the system task so in this case it's a system task dollar dump file so some simulators need this uh, to capture that uh, uh, simulated data and to, uh, to represent in a waveform uh, so for that it is required so i put it as the name test dot vcd so that semicolon and then the extension that uh, vcd is the extension for that that is compulsory we will see then dump vars so you can uh, browse on internet what is uh, dump file and dump vars uh, here the level uh, 0 comma and this module name this module name this module this match module name so anything you can put up any module that if you want to see uh, this module uh, then which signals level you can control the level here here to put a zero all signals in the current module will be included 
if you don't want to uh, include all signals pure signals uh, so this this you can control here zero instead zero one and uh, uh, which module there is a hierarchy level of uh, uh, putting a uh, module name here so that uh, that that one you kindly uh, browse this uh, over internet uh, about this uh, two dollar dump file and uh, this uh, dollar dump pass. So, but the brief, to brief here, what is this is some simulators they, they need this to put to present a simulated result in the waveform. They need them. So, one is this uh, VCD file they need, and what all that needs to be captured is uh, through this uh, dump uh, VAS. So dump pass tells what all needs to be captured from this module test and all will be kept in this uh, uh, you know this uh, test.vcd file so that is what about that now coming to this uh, for, uh, for, for loop and going to have i equal to 0 semicolon i less than or equal to 3 semicolon i equal to i plus 1 so this I, I did not mention the, uh, here, I did not declare. So possibly it may throw error. So to avoid that error, I had to put here I. So that is integer. So everyone must be knowing integer belongs to which data type because we already covered data types. So that is variable data type. Uh -huh. This one integer. So that is loop index is working like a loop index here in this case. Now we come here and uh, we put begin. And then, uh, because I'm going to have multiple statements, that's why I'm putting a begin. Otherwise, only there would have been only one statement. Then that begin is not required. So I just use this, uh, uh, you know, uh, what we call this braces. So the, the braces are what concatenation operator. So they are, you know, combining this scalar a and the scalar b. Here a and b are scalar, scalar type. So we combine these two scalar type. We can combine one scalar, one vector also. So that is uh, anyway. This this braces. You will see the flower brackets braces. Those are concatenation operator. So I am going to assign i, and then my uh, hash five. Hash five is my delay operator, and then end. So I have done with this my uh, you know uh, test bench requirement here. And then I can uh, simply uh, end module. I can put end module. So this is uh, this begin. The, uh, of this begin end is required. So let me put that in. Okay, that now it is done perfectly. After that, oh, so that is end module. Now everything is all right. So what is that we have to do is now you, there is a C you the, the asterisk symbol here. So meaning not saved this one. So we have to save this one. So before saving, possibly it may ask the name here. So I will be putting here. Uh, I'll be I'll be putting here a name of this that is the half adder. So I change simply so public uh, and then saving. So it is asking now. Select the simulator. So I had to select the simulator as well here with simulators. I did not select any simulator here. If you, uh, where I'm hovering my mouse left hand side, if you see. So if I select this uh, commercial, what happens? You see now. Suppose a cadence is this simulator I want. So I have selected, and now I'm going to save. So it got saved now. So it is saved now. So now I just try to run now. While saving, it it did not prompt anything. Let us see while I run, run what happens. So if I run, then it is asking user validation required. So user validation is required to run this simulator. You will be required to enter some identification information. In order to do so, you may wish to save your code first. So validate your account. If you go here, uh, when I have kept my mouse here, you see the validate your account for premium access. So that is displayed. So for premium access, you have to have uh, uh, that is private domain, not public domain. I was telling you earlier. So that is required. So uh, if you don't have that uh, private domain, like uh, uh, your name, at, uh, your company name, if you have uh, public domain like Gmail, Yahoo, or any other, then don't select this uh, this commercial. You select free simulator. 
let let me select this uh, FRS very log uh, free simulator. Now I, one more time I have to save this. One more time I have to save this and then run. So let us uh, see what happens here. Some modules have no time scale. This may cause confusing time results. Affected uh, modules. HA declared here. Uh, so this timing is required here. This uh, this uh, module what I kept here in the test bench module. This timing I copy here. I paste it here. So to avoid uh, such such uh, warnings or uh, errors sometimes. Some tools throw error if you don't have a time scale in the design as well. Let me save and uh, this one also has to uh, select open EP wave after run. If I want to see waveform, then I have to select. If I don't want to see waveform, I want to see in the console itself. But to see the console in the console, this area where I'm hovering my mouse is the console. So there I cannot see anything uh, printed here. The reason everyone must be able to guess why uh, one cannot see. Uh, can anyone guess? I don't. Uh, I did not put here dollar monitor. Do you notice that? In the test bench, nowhere dollar monitor is there or a dollar display is there. For that reason, in the test bench, uh, I mean, sorry, in the console, you nothing will be displayed. So if I select this open EP wave after run, then a nice waveform will uh, come if everything is correct here. So let me select this one open uh, EP wave after run and let me save this uh, and rerun this again. So this is our waveform here. In this waveform, you see here, this is the, uh, uh, you know, uh, what we call this, the vertical uh, line, you see, this is vertical. Uh, this, you can switch here, anywhere. And you can see here, here what is happening here. A is uh, at this point where this vertical, uh, vertical is placed here. At this point, A is 0, B is 0, C is 0. You have your sum uh, 0. Uh, and uh, this is uh, something A, B, uh, only A, B, your uh, C, O is output, some is output. So if multiple are there, like this, this one you select, and somewhere it must be there to remove this one. This, this you see, remove the selected signal. It's so confusing because of several. I just remove that. I select one more time this one here. I remove that. I remove this as well. I remove this as well. I remove this as well. Now so everything is neat now. So I, I I kept here my A is zero, B is uh, one. You see where I'm hovering my mouse. Now what you have your sum is one. Your uh, carry is like that. So anyway, guys, uh, this 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 is very uh, useful tool, uh, web based. Those who are having the less space in their computer uh, to install heavy uh, heavy uh, simulators, uh, dialing IRC 14.7. Those who are trying in their uh, systems, if they have less than 4 GB RAM and uh, sometimes a hard disk also, if they, if they have less space, they may they may find sometimes difficulty uh, carrying that uh, heavy software. So for them, if they have internet uh, connectivity. Then they can play with the EDA playground. First of all, you have to practice as many designs as possible. Running this, uh, running this test bench, and this, uh, you know, uh, developing your code and uh, selecting a simulator and running this. Ensure that this design is workable. This design is not workable. It means you you lack the ability to code. If this 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 design is not working. That clearly shows you lack the ability to uh, come up with a work workable code. So, first, as a first learner, instead of going running after the buzzwords, what we have to do is we have to practice design skills. We have to enhance. For that, we have to need uh, practice. For that, we need a tool. For that, this this EDA playground is a very very useful. So I thought uh, the reason for uh, demonstrating is uh, very, very lot of confusion. The WhatsApp uh, uh, discussion I see, which tool I need, that tool is not working, this tool is not working. Hi, Baba, running after the tools is wastage of time. First, what is required is the facts, we have to get into uh, the facts. 
get into the reality get into the skill set skill set is you know this very long skill you know how to code workable code how to code a behavior of the hardware in the language you must know how to develop a test bench and you must ensure how to build test bench itself first of all and then there after the secondary thing is tool for tool again we don't need to run behind this uh, this uh, where where yeah, this commercial people are uh, run behind these buzzwords like hey i am using presto i am using synopsis i am using uh, cadence what is this whatever you use ultimate aim is to ensure that your design is work so first thing is you are, you should enhance your skill set that skill set is this language knowing language developing code and developing test bench second step is ensure your developed code is working ensure your test bench is working that is the second stage for third stage is picking a right tool so for picking a right tool definitely commercial tools are not possible uh, to many so there are free simulators they can uh, come on to this uh, web based eda playground and with their uh, free gmail account itself they can uh, use uh, the facilities available here that's the aim of uh, demonstrating today this this uh, uh, eda playground to you everyone there those who are not aware kindly don't run after the tools run after skill set enhance your skill set first so with this let ah uh, one more demonstration i want to uh, i have to give if you have if you have what if if you have uh, you know multiple uh, files for example uh, you, you have this one that this one let me take this uh, this is your, uh, your full add this is your full add so in this full adder you are not going to develop your any code any code you are not going to develop what you are going to develop inside here is you are simply going to instantiate your half adder one one time instantiation and second time instantiation the same half adder this is the same half adder but second time instantiation now this your uh, primary inputs are your a b c and your primary outputs are sum and carry out here you have sum and you have carry out and you have a uh, b and c now you connect this a to here and b here now you have got sum this is yes one you call it as sum one and you call it as a carry one now this sum is going to act like the input here and this Uh, carry in this is C in R C C in here, so that is acting like a input to this second half adder. This second half adder is giving S two. Actually, this S two itself is the actual sum, so it is going to hear uh, hear this primary output. Now this is giving uh, carry out. So I have to have one R gate, and this R gate is connected to this one. Now I have here this C one connected here, and this C two is connected. so i have done with this my uh, what is this top module is this top module what is this top module called this uh, full add okay now how many modules are required one half adder one time instantiation second time instantiation that is required and the third is straight we can use one uh, primitive gate or we can write a code also for this uh, behavior that is r gate behavior we can develop a uh, code or we can use make make use of a primitive in such case how is that you are going to use this this uh, uh, you know uh, eda playground so in this case top module should come here in a design.sv top your top module and you append files here. you see the plus where i am hovering my mouse here you see the plus here the moment i press the plus here it it has come a new file and the name i have to give i'm just giving here ha dot v that is my file name and you have a provision here to upload as well and you create also 
I'm just going to create so, oh, ha dot v extension I gave. So you can give uh, extensions dot uh, sv uh, uh, dot sv is the first system very log because you have here the test bench plus design if you see system very log slash very log. So this tool is going to accept both. And uh, so let us give ha dot uh, v and then I'm going to create and um, click on the create. So I just created one file here. You see this ha dot v. Now what I do is I put this entire code here. This this code I copy. This entire code I copy. Uh, control X I am pressing. Control X that is cut and uh, get here. Control V simply paste it. Now I develop the code here for that. Uh, uh, what we call this? I I copy simply this uh, time scale as well. Control C and uh, I put here uh, uh, Control V. So this one, having done this one, otherwise you don't need to do this one. What you need to do here is, I just remove this. You put a back code, include. You have to include this design file. This design file, this design file. That is uh, double quotes, ha dot v. I'm just including this file. This file in this design.sv. Design.sv, you cannot alter. You double click, nothing come, pops up. You double click here. It pops up. We can change this ha dot v. But if you double click this design dot s, it is default by the EDF background. Uh, uh, those people who prepared it. Similarly, test bench also you cannot uh, double click and change that one. That is uh, default like that. So let us now go to a module, module, and then uh, what is that we thought of making full adder? And this full adder has got some inputs right here a comma b comma c and then some comma c o c out that is so and then put here uh, the type declaration input a comma b comma c and then your output here output you put here sum and c o and this time i don't want to describe anything i simply want to instantiate this module here so this module when i try to instantiate i just copy this one here copy and I go here, I paste it here, I paste it here one time and second time also. Two times I need because if you see this one here, two times I have to instantiate. Uh, I, you notice this one, one time here, the other time here. So two times I am instantiating. So that's why two, two times I am instantiating. Two times instantiation name is required. HA1 is the instantiation name I am giving. It's your choice, you can give anything. HA2 is another name. And the first module, if you see here, that is straight going here A and B and coming out is S1 and C1. So that's why I prefer here instead sum, I prefer according to the plan one, uh, C1 and S1. And then if you see this, uh, this one here, this S1 is actually going as an input here. And uh, this C is coming as an input here to the second instantiation. So that's why I go here simply, I put here S1 and then the other coming here is a C. And then if you see here this one here, this is sum, this is straight connected to sum only. Intermediate taking intermediate and then connecting not required. You can take directly to the sum. And this this C2 and C1 will be going to the R gate. That is the care needs to be taken. So what I do is I take our gate here, instead of that primitive available in the language, then semicolon. You know the syntax, do you remember everybody that's in the syntax? First uh, should come output, not inputs. The syntax of the primitives. So the output here is, uh, this is the uh, CO is a output. So in our case here is the CO, CO. So, and then the C1, comma C2. So if you notice here, I put a CO, so that I should I shouldn't be keeping CO there. So likewise, so I have done with my complete description now. So now what I do is uh, uh, here one more point. Here this instantiation name is not required when you use a primitive, according to language standardization. So let us uh, compile and see if it, it throws error, then we'll put an instantiation name. But according to the language requirement, it's not required. Now we have done our complete uh, full and description. Now, what is required to do here is we have to have a test bench here. Test, this test bench, what we have developed is for this, this half header. 
but for this design top model we have to build the test bench so what i'm going to do simply i just copy this name here i copy this one i paste it here i paste it here and then i use this fa uh, one fa one is a instantiation instantiation name i think i kept here fa name that's why i may be keeping fa not required here those who are uh, new learners uh, this can be anything uh, to avoid the confusion let me put the y1 here y1 okay so that is uh, instantiation name it could be anything now the extra care that i have to take here is uh, these are the things and uh, some carry anyway a scalar type no issues with that abc is done this is done everything is done and uh, this one uh, since three are there two or three meaning uh, eight eight possibilities meaning zero to seven nothing but eight so i go till seven and then i include c here i include c here in this and then uh, everything is set right all right so let us ho uh, hope uh, this is going to work now save this one and uh, you save this one the asterisk that uh, that has gone now what happens is you ensure the class check once everything is uh, set all right okay now here you have to set this uh, uh, tool here and then you check this one oh, the reason for checking this one i explained already i did not put here dollar monitor otherwise in console itself i can see and i can uh, analyze the result uh, with that i can uh, do away with this uh, ep wave but since i did not put here in the console here uh, uh, i mean in the code dollar monitor so uh, i bank on this uh, this one that is called open uh, ep wave after run so now i go to run this 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 one so let me see now what happens so it is uh, saying syntax error i give up so where the syntax error that is also said design.sv file so this is a design.sv file syntax error at line possibly 3 so let us go to this design uh, this if you see this uh, mod o oh, this is a m o d i l e so it's a yeah. module it's a module so that's the problem okay now run again okay if if you see here use get signals button to add more signals to the wave waveform view so it is giving a option to us to select which signals you want to see in the uh, waveform uh, editor here in this where i am hovering my mouse this is waveform window or waveform editor in this uh, which signals i want to uh, see so that option i can select with this with the help of this so i had to go get signals use get signals button so let me use that get signals button this is the get signals button i press it get signals now if i go here if i select this ha one you see a b c o some if i select this the other ha same signals if i select this one y1 then you see a b c intermediate signals as well that is instantiated instantiated module if i select test then i see them here all right so now what i do is append selected i select this one and uh, control i'm pressing control on my keyboard and then this one and this one and this one i don't want this this uh, uh, loop index uh, so now append selected you have the option here append all and you have the option here append selected so you you have to select this because you just don't want to see this uh loop index variable so append selected so if you do that and then close you have the wave waveform here you 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 can click any at any point here this vertical line you see so those are the corresponding values you have this a b c and the corresponding values are this let us go to some other uh, here the corresponding values here uh, you have a b c and the uh, result is sum is 0 and uh, your uh, c not is 1 so guys uh, so that's how if you have multiple uh, if, if you have uh, you see the last one let me just uh, go to this option as well so where you have this all ones here so you have your uh, carry out one and sum one so absolutely perfectly working this one 
and uh, this radix also in uh, dialing ies that uh, simulator icm simulator dialing icm the simulator name in the dialing is a uh, icm and uh, synthesis tool is xst so there in, uh, i demonstrated the radix how to change this one so in the binary if you want to see in the binary or hexa so two options it is giving so anyway these are there in the scalar type it is not going to affect much if if there are vector types then uh, binary if you don't want to see you can uh, go hexa uh, you know radix so for visibility it will be good if you uh, pick a vector type are there rather seeing in the binary you can select hexa so that way uh, for visibility it will be helpful so now the point here is this point you, you no one should be forgetting if you have multiple files you can keep appending them remember this is that this should be design uh, design dot uh, dot sv this should be your top module then how do you ensure that this is uh, included your lower modules with the help of this backward uh, include what is backward include backward include is your compiler directive you should not be forgetting all these uh, things we already covered in earlier sessions wherever you see this dot uh, backward backward in your very like hdl so all such are uh, compiler directives if you see this dollar they may be uh, system tasks or they may be system functions so that you should not be forgetting and uh, that's what the demonstration uh, this eda background i uh, those guys who are there watching this one i uh, request them don't run after the tools you have a bunch of tools available at your hand you have to focus primarily on skill set that is you have a hardware functionality you should be capable of describing that hardware functionality in verilog hdl that is the skill set that is the prime thing then to test this developer code you have to have ability capability potential to develop a proper test bench also that is the same second skill set both skill sets are equally important and there after comes a tool so that you develop a code you have to see that this code is working at that time you really don't need to go uh, uh, after buzzwords like uh, like like this a uh, cadence mentor people talk much uh, student especially they are we are using cadence we are without knowing the basics they talk uh, cadence mentor synopsis basics are fundamentals are this language fundamentals you should have that fundamentals so uh, for that this eda playground is a really a blessing uh, those who cannot afford any tool uh, because uh, it's a simulator a nice simulator nice interface and you can keep them saved in your uh, playground uh, they will be available later time if you come and uh, you see so that's what about this uh, this Uh, in ground it's uh, essential to discuss today the reason i have seen personal whatsapp messages and uh, group whatsapp messages they talk about the uh, tool much rather the skill set all skill set you focus on skill set all okay with that we we stop here this this usage of this i was emphasizing that you kindly focus on uh, uh, skill set development skill set development don't focus on that tool don't run behind that tools first there are bunch of tools freely available in uh, in the market you have to focus on the skill set development if hardware the behavior is there how do you code that behavior in the very like hdl code that's the prime concern that's the prime uh, skill that you have to enhance and then how do you develop such a behavior Uh, how do you test such a behavior by developing a proper test bench that is the second skill set that you have to enhance then tools are there you can use them okay uh, so with that said uh, let us go to our uh, today's uh, session